Hello everyone, welcome to Ubisoft. My name is Amit and today we are going to see how to log in Spring Boot application with Facebook. Basically here we are going to provide the security through the Facebook or to server and Spring security. And we can apply here single sign on with the help of Facebook. Now let me show you one real time example. Okay. So here I have already created one Spring Boot application and I have created one hello api and here i have already applied that facebook integration okay so let me show you on browser how it will work let's see here uh here i am typing localhost 8080 hello okay so that's it now it is asking me uh facebook uh, username password so i am providing here facebook username password and login and now after this uh, I can able to access this API. So you can see here that API is returning. Welcome user Amit Mapari. Okay, so in that way, we are going to configure uh, Facebook login with Spring Boot application. So here to integrate with Facebook, we need two things from the Facebook. First is client ID and another is a client secret. So let's see how to get that client ID and client secrets from the Facebook. Now let's see how to get client ID and credentials from the Facebook. So for this, we need to type here a developer.facebook.com enter. Okay. So after this, you will see such kind of uh, UI from the Facebook or meta. After this, you have to click on the login and click here, login with the Facebook. And here you have to provide your credentials for the login. Okay, so after this, you will see this my app option. So click here. Now you will see such kind of interface. So here we have to create one app. So click on create app. And then click on next. And you have to select here other option. Click on next. Now you can select here uh, consumer option. Okay, I'll click on next. And here you have to provide your application name. Let's say our application name is Spring Boot. Uh, Spring Boot, okay. Boot uh, single SSO. Okay, Spring Boot SSO. After this, you have to provide your email ID. Let's say my email ID is avs24soft at the rate gmail.com. Then click on create app. After this, you will see such kind of options and we want to use that Facebook login product of the Facebook. So click here on setup. And here uh, there are different different options like iOS, Android, web. So it is better to uh, select others right now. Okay, so that is fine. Now click on the settings. And here you will see uh, client auth login, uh, web auth login, that is okay. And here, click on save changes. Okay, so that's it. Now after this, click on the app settings and here click on basics. Once you click on basics, you will see your application uh, details like a uh, app ID and that app secrets. Okay, so the main thing is you have to copy this app ID and the secrets and you have to use that uh, ID and secret into your Spring Boot application. Now let's see how to create a Spring Boot application for integration with the Facebook. Okay, so let's open the Spring Boot initializer. Now create a Spring Boot project using the Spring initializer. So click here. Then here provide the uh, uh, inputs. So here I'm selecting com.avsoft. After this uh, artifact, let's say uh, Facebook login. Okay, uh, I think we are good here. Now uh, add the dependencies. So first we have to add the web dependency, Spring Web. Then we have to add security dependency. Then we have to add, uh, okay, client, okay, what to client. 
over to client okay so this is the dependency that we need to add now add it now let's generate the project now here project is generated now import this project into our applic sts okay this is our sts so let's import that project so new import and uh, this is a maven project so i have to select existing maven project and provide here url that's it click on next and finish now you can see facebook project facebook login project is there okay so open this product so here first we have to create one controller so let's create one package called controller after this we have to create uh, one class called as a controller okay let's say a uh, demo controller or welcome controller welcome controller that's it now create here one api called and public public let's say return type is string and then hello okay so provide here mapping called as a gate mapping and then we have to provide here url let's say hello okay that's it and written here uh, welcome user okay and then username so question is where we will get that username now here question is how to get that user detail of the login user so for this we can use one annotation called as a authentication principle and over to user so basically this over to user is a implementation class or implementation of that principal interface okay which is provided by java security and which holds all the information of user now the next thing is what we can do here principal dot get attributes okay get attribute and which will provide all the attributes or all the information pro, uh, which is hold by that principal object and it returns that attributes in form of map so use here map string object that's it uh, spelling mistake okay now we are good here it is written in the map in form of uh, key and value pair now uh, i want to get the name of that user so for this what we can do user dot get name attribute so it will return user name that's it okay now here we are good now the next thing is we need to integrate this application with the facebook and for that we need a client id and secrets from the facebook which we already created so let's open this now you can see this is the client id or app id so copy this and uh, we need to paste it here so basically these two properties are there which we are going to use inside the application dot property okay so here we need a your facebook app id okay so paste here and then we need another thing okay which is where it is where it is so let's copy that app secrets okay and paste it here now that facebook client id and facebook uh, client secrets are ready and copy these two properties and paste into the spring boot application application dot property so where it is uh, main resource application dot property okay and paste it here now let me show you this thing again so this is the property called as string dot security dot over two dot client dot registration dot facebook dot client id and this is the client id which is provided by the facebook and similarly client secret is there client secret is there which we already copied that's it now our application is ready now let's start that application so facebook login now our application is up and running so let's call that api called as hello so open the browser here and then localhost 8000 hello 
after this you will see uh, such kind of option okay spring boot sso is required to access so you have to provide here access continue as emit okay so you can see welcome amit mapari okay so this is my facebook username so that's why it is showing welcome amit mapari okay so that's all about facebook single sign on or facebook integration with the spring boot if you like this video so please share and subscribe and thanks for watching the video thank you